Hello, welcome to Tutors of Life podcast, where we research life so you don't have to. Episode 183, this is your host, Sean Tudor. And this is Sam. So, This is a Tudor episode, but we try to teach you something new. We got a fun, little exciting thing. It'll be a fun, little happy Easter uh, episode. Yeah. We're going to teach you about uh, holidays, or talk about holidays, I don't know. We're going we're gonna to discuss holidays, um, what... What are like the main holidays in the U.S. that people get days off for and why? Mm-hmm. Because I think it'd be kind of neat. I do think it'd be kind of neat. Let's see what we got. Let's, what's the first holiday, babe? Start us off with the first holiday. New Year's. So we got New Year's. Why the fuck would we take the first day of the year off? Right? Did you think like you should like start strong? Why the fuck would you not start New Year's off on a good foot by putting in a good hard day's work? Right. So you take, so the first day of the year, <laughs> the first day of the year, we are fucking starting out as bums, mm-hmm. typically hungover. And most people end the year with the day off too. Math me the fuck that out. Right? It doesn't make any sense. Um, next up, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Okay. This one irritates me. Okay. Only because, right? Hear me out, guys. Only because... Sometimes it ends up on my birthday, and it's really fucking annoying. Okay. So why do we get that day off? Um, so it's to celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday, which I believe is January 15th. Okay. But they have it be like the third or second Monday of... So that is also something I don't like. Oh, well, it must be the second. Like, we will change holiday days to land on business days to have it off. Mm. I think that's the stupidest thing ever. If it don't land on the day. A lot of them, they change to Mondays. Stupid. I think that's way smarter. I think Thanksgiving and Christmas should both fucking be on a Friday. No. Yes. Is no. It, why not Thanksgiving? Why on a fucking Thursday? Because it's the day. It's the meaning behind the day. So like but Martin Luther the King day changes every year. So Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yes. If his birth to celebrate his birthday, I believe uh, that's what it is. Check it out, because if that's the case, I feel like it should be on his birthday every single year, no matter if it's his birthday or not, it's or just, no matter like if it's a a business day or not. Um, I like I honestly think they just did it so they had a day off in January. That's not uh, New Year's Day. I think that's absolute bullshit. Um, it, yes. So it's marking the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. It is observed on the third Monday of January each year. Stupid. So it should be January 15th. Then it should be January 15th every single time. We don't need an excuse for more people to have days off. Mm-hmm. What's our next one, babe? Um, President's Day. Okay. Um, which is Washington's birthday. And what day does that land on? That one lands... Uh, well, his actual birthday is February 11th. But of course we don't celebrate it on February 11th. No. Um, no, we celebrate it on the third Monday. On the third Monday. All right, so I'm keeping track of stupid, pointless shit that should not be just a fucking third Monday. If we want to celebrate that shit, it should land on the day that we celebrate it. Mm-hmm. So, so far we got New Year's, which is stupid as shit to take that one off. Yep. So that's one day that's dumb. Second, we got Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Mm-hmm. That should just be on the 15th, no matter what it is. Yes. And you know what? We don't even need to have the day off. It was just about equality. Let's just go ahead and fucking say, hey, the CIA killed Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and let's just like all celebrate the fact that he was trying to make the world a better place. And quite frankly, it didn't fucking work. Why um, don't we celebrate JFK's birthday? Don't know, babe. On to the next one, which was President's Day. <clears throat> For some reason, why would we celebrate President's Day? Because we always have a goddamn president. But whatever. Let's celebrate a President's Day. And, and let's just do it on the day of Washington's birthday day for the first president ever. And so it's interesting. So some states call it President's Day. Wisconsin is one of the states that call calls it Washington's birthday. All right. Um, All right. Yeah. So m- some states call it President's Day. So then I would, if you're just doing President's Day to celebrate our presidents, sure, then it can be the third Monday of the year. 
Or All third right. Monday of February. But All right, so we got three pointless ones so far. Yep. Next um, one. Easter is actually not a federal holiday. Okay. Probably because it's on Sunday. Ah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. That makes sense. Cool. Yeah. So we just have Easter as a holiday. Yeah. You know um, the, the main reason this topic started was because we were talking about how shit tons of people take off on... Christmas. Oh, Christmas. But uh, Good Friday. Yeah, Good Friday. Yeah. A lot of people we knew had half days on Good Friday. And we're like, man, that's just so funny. Everyone doesn't care about religion until you get a day off. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, okay. So Easter... Hey, dude, celebrate Easter if it's part of your religion. If it's not part of your religion, just go about your life. Mm. But if it's part of your religion, awesome, dude. Are we talking about, like, just federal holidays or all holidays? I would say federal holidays. Okay. But, like, we can also sprinkle in some holidays, too. Because there's some other ones. There's one that, like, we really don't celebrate here. Sure. But some do around the U.S. What's that? Uh, Mardi Gras. Ah. Hmm. There's a song about that. Mm Mm-hmm. Anyways, that's okay. What's next one? Um, so after d- 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 Easter, I mean, Mother's Day is in there somewhere. Um, people don't get that off though. No, 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 no. It's also on a Sunday as well. Okay, cool. Um, it, which now they want to try and change it to birthing people's day, but whatever. That's stupid. Um, Memorial Day. Okay. Federal holiday. Yes. What are we celebrating on Memorial Day? We're supposed to celebrate, I believe, all the lost veterans, correct? Da-da. Of the two official United States holidays, recognizing the commitment of members of Americans military, America's military service, Memorial Day honors those who lost their lives while defending their country. That makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. So that I think is a really good holiday. I think that's a very good holiday. Um, but if you don't believe in military or police force or anything like that, then you should not celebrate it. I would have to second that. If you have ever said, fuck the United States. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yes. You shouldn't be allowed to celebrate Memorial Day. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think Memorial Day so far is the first very legitimate federal holiday. Mm-hmm. Um, because without that, because without that, we legitimately don't have a United States. Right. And I understand, like, without a president, we wouldn't have the United States. So that is why I can say, like, yes, let's celebrate George Washington's birthday, but it doesn't have to be a business day. Right. Like, let's just celebrate on his birthday. And same thing with, I will say this, the same thing with every single holiday. Memorial Day, like, is there a day dedicated to that, or are we just celebrating... Because that's not a that's not a specific date. No, it's the last Monday of May. Then I'm about it because it's not a specific date that ties it to anything. We're just mm-hmm. we're honestly just uh, mourning the the losses of the individuals who died for our country. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. All right, what's the next one? Um, yeah, it's just the first time like one random year someone was just like, "Hey, we're gonna celebrate it on this day," and they're like, "Okay." I love good. it, dude. I think that's awesome. I think it's a really good one. Yeah. Okay, next, uh, Independence Day. Okay. July 4th. Yeah. Yeah. If Once again, if you also do not believe in the U.S. being a country or do not yeah. care for your country, you should not celebrate July 4th. I agree completely. But uh, July 4th, Independence Day, I think that is a... Oh, um, I missed one, but we'll continue on this one. I think... Uh, so what? what's... What's what's July four celebrating? Um, our independence from Britain. Britain. I believe that is a very good holiday, mm-hmm. and you know what day it should be celebrated on? The fourth. Is it always the fourth? Yeah. We never like. Nope, it never switches. Love that, dude. They got one right. Yeah. The first one they got one well, Memorial Day they got right. So we got two right. Yeah. We got two very right. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Um. So the one I forgot. Uh, Juneteenth um which that's a new one that's like new in the past couple of years it is celebrating um emancipation um and it's always june 19th as well but yeah it's a uh, freedom finally came on june 19th of 1865 when some 2000 union troops arrived in galveston bay texas 
the army announced that the more that the more than 250,000 enslaved black people in the state were free by executive decree. This day came to be known as Juneteenth by the newly freed people in Texas. So I think some states have celebrated it for a while, um, but it just recently became a federal holiday. I do think that's a good one, right? It does show, like, the progression of the U.S., right? Like, it shows we're advancing, celebrating. I agree. Mm -hmm. I think that is a good one. I do agree that abolishing slavery was a good thing. Mm -hmm. What I will say is somehow we went from that, which is great, to Martin Luther King Jr., which was great. He was doing great movement. To the CIA deciding to kill him because he was making too good of a movement and too many people were uh, starting to get along and qu they quit looking at the color of people's skin and the content of their character and all mm -hmm. that was great. And I think now we've reached a point where all of that is like going away. Mm -hmm. We are literally, people are literally... The fucking companies are hiring based on skin color to meet a quota now. Yeah. Based over like skill set. Yeah. And I fucking remember our mastermind that one time when someone brought up, oh, we should have a black person in the group so we can have some um, diversity. diversity. And I freaked out. And we're just like. What the racist, most racist shit I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. When we do, you do have to take an account. We live in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, where I think. Yeah, there's, the white population is 90 percent right so so yeah dude i'm like by no means like if a person of color wants to wanted to join that group i'd have been all about it absolutely um but i'm not gonna go seek out a person of color to fucking check a quota box that's yeah. the most racist shit i've ever heard yep so anyways i think we've just what i don't like about juneteenth becoming a thing in the last few years is that we are becoming more divided every day mm -hmm. as a country, mm -hmm. um, especially between race. It's it's constant division. And we're going to just go ahead and sprinkle Juneteenth in. That's some bullshit, dude. I think Juneteenth should have been a thing for many, many years prior. Yeah. And I think that thing, I think Juneteenth should have been around longer than uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day has been around. Oh, yeah. But there, it's just more shit to divide us. Yep. And I, I hate that. Yep. Anyways, that's how I feel about Juneteenth. I think it's a phenomenal holiday. I think it should have been around a lot longer than it has. I just think it's more shit the government does to try and pin everybody against each other. Well, and how interesting is it that, like, I think it's February is Black, Hith Black History Month. Yeah. And then March is Women's Month. Where's men's? The men's whites other races they don't get it yeah then where's native american history month right all right let's we'll get to let's that one. the anyways. next one is there um, one of them oh apparently it's not a federal holiday which i didn't know that anyways we'll find out right, there we go we should get some up and roars about that shit yep um labor day all right cool that's the next one yeah we really go from fucking juneteenth well juneteenth and then july 4th and then Labor, Labor Day. Day. All right. Sorry. But that's two whole months. That's, yeah, it's cooking. What do we got for Labor Day? What are we celebrating? Yeah, you're celebrating blue collar workers, the laborers. Guess who usually don't get off on Labor Day? All right, dude. So let's go in on this one. So, Labor Day, this is how I truly feel about supporting blue collar workers. I feel all white collar workers should be working that day, and the blue collar workers get the day off. Mm hmm. That's how I feel about that day. If we're supporting laborers, supporting blue-collar workers, why the fuck are most of the f factories, machines, sh shops, shit like that, all fucking emergency services, electricians, plumbers, all that shit, they're all working that day. Mm -hmm. While the white-collar dudes got their fucking, sorry, the white-collar people have their fucking day off and the laborers still working, so then the white collar folk get to celebrate blue collar workers who are still working mm -hmm. dumb as shit i understand you have to have on-call people for shit that fucking white collar people can't do i totally understand that there's going to be plumbing issues obviously of course you can't get around that but labor day should be for blue collar workers only mm -hmm. i love that shit yeah dude what else um you got? Do, do, do. 
So this one apparently isn't a federal holiday in the in Wisconsin because okay. it didn't pop up, but maybe it is. I don't know. Um, Columbus Day, and in some states, it's Indigenous People Day now. Correct. Mm-hmm. Why don't they have a month? <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and that's another Stupid recent development. Day. And it's it's Indigenous not... Day is recent. Yeah. Yes, it is. And it's not all states. Correct. Because some states still call it Columbus Day. I have so many conflicting issues with this. I here's the thing that pisses me off, right? So it was Columbus Day, which is Christopher Columbus who discovered the U.S., who then kind of fucked over the indigenous people. Why would we replace like? his day like right why wouldn't we make a whole new day for indigenous people instead of being like this guy fucked you guys over so we're gonna let you fuck him over by taking his day but it's not like it matters like to columbus he's dead right like they should get a whole day themselves they should probably have a month if we want to do they should really have a month yes so why this irritates me is because of this christopher columbus found america Mm mm-hmm and so, in that realm, let's celebrate the finding of America for the fucking, for the people that are here now that built this country up. I hate to say it. It was Europeans. Mm-hmm. It was white people. Mm-hmm. White people found this fucking place and built it up. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to say that because they came from an established place like Europe mm-hmm. that had built like colonies and all sorts of shit, yeah. came over and found the u.s okay why don't we celebrate so we can celebrate if we want if we want to celebrate america okay Mm -hmm. then we have to celebrate columbus finding it yeah okay indigenous people can absolutely have their day yeah i or or their month i that's phenomenal because you know what great people yeah you know let's let's support them they were here first um did christopher columbus do some probably wrong shit oh for sure um, so did a lot of fucking people. So did a lot past. of fucking people. Yeah. But um, did it allow America to be America? And so this is where I go down this mm-hmm. rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. And I go down this rabbit hole. Christopher Columbus didn't find America. Okay. Native Americans don't figure out technology. They're still living in teepees. Okay. Sounds good. Next thing. Christopher Columbus didn't find America. Didn't colonize it. They didn't bring over slaves. Yeah. Which, guess what? Guess who sold the slaves? Other black individuals sold the slaves to the U.S., to the white people. Okay? Black people sold the black people to the white people. If it wasn't for us white people buying the black slaves, you would still be in Africa, which is not better than the United States for the most part. Mm-hmm. Some places. S- some yes. places. Uh, let's say the majority of Africa, you would rather be in America. Mm-hmm. Now there's place in Africa that that's not true. Yeah. But so where I, where I start to get upset is like people are upset about our history. It's like it's the same way I look at my life. I do not regret a single thing I do because it brings me to the person I am today with the people I am today. True. The people I'm with today. Okay. So if you're going to fucking bitch about slavery... You wouldn't be here to bitch, you dumb fuck. If you're going to bitch about Christopher Columbus finding this, well, you wouldn't be around to bitch about this shit because you wouldn't have social media, dog. You'd be living in a teepee. Dude, and to be honest, too, the French came I'm get, I am at some point because the French yep. went to Canada. 100%. So they would have just spilled down and probably done the exact same thing anyways. For sure. Anyways, next holiday. So, uh, sorry, sorry for oh. the rant, guys. That's how I, I feel about that stuff Mm -hmm. but i do think christopher columbus day is a good day and i think maybe then we should just have a a record like a recognition for indigenous people month yeah i think so all right cool uh veterans day okay so but i don't think that's a federal holiday i don't remember if banks and shit are closed that day This calendar says it's a federal holiday, but it also... Oh, no, it's green. So I think that means it's not... I don't know how that wouldn't be a federal holiday. No, it's a federal holiday, but I don't think they have off. 
You know okay. what I mean? Like it's a public holiday, but not. Uh... And so we're just we're so we're celebrating veterans. Yes. So and specifically people that went to war, correct? Isn't that what you told me, or is that? Well, or people that served for twenty years, I believe. Okay. Yeah. I can support that. Mm-hmm. I can support that. I. I think we should do more for it, right? Like, I don't think there's enough that's done on Veterans Day to celebrate all those people that, like, have sacrificed. Like, I know they get two days, but still. I, they, well, no, because they, they didn't die. Memorial Day is just for the individuals that died. Oh, valid, yes. Yeah, so, so and that's why I was thinking. I was, like, thinking hard about that because you're absolutely right. So we have a time to mourn for the individuals who sacrificed their life. Mm-hmm. And now we have a day to celebrate the individuals who sacrificed their lives and lived mm-hmm. and, and, and came back for more. And I think that's a really a really good holiday. I guess most restaurants, um, you can get uh, you get free meals if you're a veteran. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is which is really cool. I think like that that part's super cool. What like restaurants and all those people do for veterans. Yeah, I, I really think that's cool. Um, so that's a good one. Uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving should be on a fucking Friday, dude. Why is it on Thursday? I don't know. Let's look it up. Okay. But this is another one that it's a rotating day. Right. And that's why I want to know what it stands for to see. Um, I'm I'm guessing the story is going to be the very first Thanksgiving was on a Thursday. Um, let's see here. On the fourth Thursday of November, it's sometimes called American Thanksgiving. Oh, outside the United States to distinguish it from the Canadian holiday of the same name. Huh. Interesting. Oh, related celebrations and other... I don't know. Um, it originated as a day of Thanksgiving and Harvest Festival with the theme of the holiday revolving around giving thanks and the centerpiece of Thanksgiving celebrations remaining... Okay, yeah. That did not help me. Um, why are you celebrated on that day? Da, 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 da. Sorry, guys. Um, Thanksgiving has been celebrated nationally on and off since 1789. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't know it was on and off. I wonder why Thursday. Um, da, 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 uh, Lincoln declared it for the last Thursday in November. On June 28th of 1870, President oh, Ulysses S. Grant signed into law the Holidays Act that made Thanksgiving a yearly appointed federal holiday in Washington, D.C. Holy man, that's been around for a little bit. Yeah, so we can blame Lincoln. Fucking Abe. Um, oh, from 1942 onwards, Thanksgiving by an act of Congress received a permanent observation date, the fourth Thursday in November, no longer at the discretion of the president. Oh, so the president, I think, got to decide. Okay. Um, random. Oh, yeah, because Franklin Roosevelt um, moved it to one week earlier. I'm going to say I bet you they do it on Thursday because of Black Friday. Who cares about Black Friday anymore? No, I know. I, I'm just joking. Um, I support Thanksgiving. Giving yeah. thanks. Yeah. I think it's really good. I think it's good, too. I think, um, once again, people don't actually think about the reason why we have the day off. To give thanks? Yeah. And maybe that's why I like having it on a Thursday. I just hate it because I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, have Thursday mm. off, then have to work Friday. So I suppose traveling and shit. Yeah. You know, that's something you don't really think about is like, I don't think they really thought about that in the 40s or back in like 1870 mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Because a lot of people weren't driving three hours. Yeah. That's... They like live next to their family. Mm-hmm. And so why I like the idea of Thanksgiving on a Thursday is like, you can go be present with your family if you live next to them. That's tough for us. Yeah. Um, because I'm, I, there's been a couple of times that Sean has gone up to Ashland for Thanksgiving without me. Right, right, right. Because right. I have to work on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hmm, that is a tough one. Mm-hmm. I do see where you're going with that. Mm-hmm. I'll support yours for it to be changed because of how the environment has changed in the last 50 years with travel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, next up, Christmas. Okay. Um, and Christmas Eve is a federal holiday. Oh, so people get two days off. Uh, that's what it tells me, because it tells me Christmas Eve this year is on the 23rd. Interesting. Which I don't get, because that's a Saturday. 
Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Yep, I don't know. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Whatever. Anyways, Christmas. Christmas? If you're not religious, you shouldn't get to stay off. What do, what's Christmas stand for? Christ Mass. I know. Um, because it's uh commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. So I like, and I know there's like Jewish families that don't celebrate it. Correct. Because they do uh, Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Um, and then I I mean, there's other religious religions that obviously don't do it. Wow. Um, so, I mean, that's cool, but if you're not religious, you shouldn't celebrate it. Yeah, I agree completely. I do think that I agree completely. Mm Mm-hmm. And then last up is New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Hmm? Right, like, they should call it something else. If you're, if you're not gonna, like, be religious. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I mean, it's just. I feel like that. Because that's the first holiday out of all of them. The only holiday that's a religion based holiday. Mm-hmm. And I'm all about. That, that's federally. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm all about religion. Mm-hmm. But what you could easily do is, like, it could easily be a thing like that's a vacation day mm-hmm. um, for people. Uh, I just, yeah, I think it's really neat how Christmas is like this really big, huge thing. Mm-hmm. But if you're not a religious family, it shouldn't be. Right. But people still go crazy over this Christmas and everybody getting gifts and mm-hmm. all this shit. Yeah. And another thing um, that I think is interesting is a l- recently a lot of people have been having issues with like their kids expecting too much now. Oh, for sure. And you know what? We're celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so, like, why are we do? Why are we getting gifts? You know when we should be doing gifts? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Why the fuck are we doing gifts on Christmas? Hundred percent. That doesn't even make any sense, dude. No, and I let's like uh. Because I thought it, like, started from Coca-Cola. Like, wasn't that kind of what started it? That's super interesting, dude. When you really, like, when you unpack holidays. Dude, yeah. It's like, why are we doing this? Um, uh, the, 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 the history controversies. There's a whole controversies tab for Christmas. I love it, dude. Damn. I love it. Um, has at times been the subject of controversy and attacks from various sources, both Christian and non-Christian. Historically, it was prohibited by Puritans during the ascending in the Commonwealth of England in the 1600s. Jesus. Fuck. Um, The government of the People's Republic of China officially espouses state atheism and has conducted anti-religious campaigns to this end. In December of 2018, officials raided Christian churches prior to Christmas tied and coerce them to close oh geez chill out oh wow christmas trees and santa clauses were also forcibly removed in china in china hey guys communism it's not good let's not be that way yeah but you know what oh my gosh this is funny we'll tie this in real quick and then we'll wrap this shit up Mm -hmm. right we are now looking at fed now the new federal currency i know you're gonna bring this up the same thing which china has china has a uh, a federal online currency, um, digital, sorry, digital, federal digital currency. Um, and they also have a, what's it called, babe? What's their program? What's their program? Yeah, that China has. Like a social... Social credit score. Yes. So they also have a thing called social credit score. So we have the Fed now, federal digital currency for the United States. It's going to come into effect in July. And then... We'll be looking at a uh, social credit uh, currency. Uh, And why that is not good is many, many reasons, such as you're jaywalking, they can see you, you get a fine. Um, You Maybe they put a a number of trips we can take. And so if you take more than three trips, it's not allowed. Like you can only take two trips that they'll allow. Um, If you do more, they'll shut down your bank account. In Canada, they did this um, 
when there was the uh, the truckers. The truckers were riding. Mm-hmm. Uh, the truckers were riding. That was like two years ago now. They were holding the line about not taking vaccines and all this shit. And, uh, and the mask mandates and whatnot. And uh, it was easy. The the government shut down all their bank accounts, froze all their bank accounts. Yep. Uh, same thing would happen here with a federal digital currency. We were, we we're going to talk more about that. We're going to have a full episode on uh, federal digital currency, the FedNow program. I just wanted to tie in how communism is not the answer. And why are we replicating stuff that other communist countries do? And so for that, babe... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, this very happy Easter episode. Yes. On Joyful. holidays and what they mean and why we have them. And uh, our feelings about them. Our feelings about holidays. We told you, we tutor you on anything. I hope you guys loved it. I loved it. Um, it was fun. Um, actually, go out and, uh, and crush this week. Be grateful, do great things. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, Catch you in the next one. See ya.